join me for a fabulous cocktail adventure where it's all about making cocktails at home and having some fun and today we are going to have some fun with a gone with the gin. I found this fantastic recipe in this gorgeous little book of the same name, Gone with the Gin, Cocktails with a Hollywood Twist and it is a fun little book and every cocktail is related to a different film. I love this book, it's fun. There are eight ingredients in our Gone with the Gin. First up, we have some jalapenos, we have some fresh peach, some fresh rosemary, some lemon juice, some simple sugar syrup, some gin, campari, and to top it all off, we have a little bit of soda water. So let's make our Gone with the Gin today. There are two steps we're going to muddle and we're also going to shake. So first of all, we'll do some muddling. I'm going to use a Boston shaker. And the first ingredients we want to put in here are four, ing oh, five, four ingredients. First up is the jalapenos. Now the recipe calls for two whole jalapenos. I could only find sliced jalapenos. So you know what, I'm probably going to only put about five or six jalapenos in because this is where you can make a cocktail to the taste of your taste buds. So that's what I love about cocktails and all recipes. You can make it to what tastes good for you. Then we want to put in the whole or half a peach, which I've just sliced up. And then two beautiful sprigs of our rosemary goes in like so. And then in this step as well, we're going to put in the sugar syrup. Now sugar syrup you can purchase, but you can also make it at home. It is so easy to make. Have a little look up there. You can see how I made the sugar syrup. And today we're putting in 15 ml, which is half an ounce. So let's put in our sugar syrup. It goes in like so. Voila. And this is where we're going to muddle. Now muddling, you can use a muddle stick, obviously. If you don't have one at home, you can use a wooden spoon or just some utensil that's going to really just smash all these flavors together. That's what a muddle's all about, smashing it all up and getting these beautiful flavors all infused together. I'm actually really excited about this cocktail and all the flavors to see how it all comes together. So nice big muddle there. We get those jalapenos squashed up and that rosemary. Right, that is looking fabulous. All right, there we have our muddle. At this stage now, we're going to put in our other ingredients. 45 ml of gin. Now with your gin, I'm using a dry gin. It's probably best to use a dry gin. But honestly, you can use any gin you've got in your cupboard, just give it a go. It's what cocktails are all about, giving it a go. So 15 ml, I mean 45 ml. So there's 30 goes in, which is one ounce, and 15, which is half an ounce, so that's one and a half ounce, 45 ml goes in of your gin. Then with the lemon juice, 15 ml. In it goes. Oopsie! <laughs> and 15 ml of the Campari, which is half an ounce. Woo wee! There we go. A little bit of an overspill there. <laughs> okay, this is where we shake it up. So I'm going to place some ice into our Boston shaker. A little bit of ice goes in. Pour that into here, give it a nice tap, and let's shake this up. Shake it up, Buttercup. Shake this up, Buttercup. Alright, that is looking fabulous. Nice shake there. With our glass today, I'm using one of my favourites, and that is a martini tumbler. I really love this shape. Let's put a little bit of ice in first. Before we pour this glorious cocktail, all right, some 
some ice goes in. Now I am going to double strain these cocktails. We're going to use two strainers. Um, and let's just pour it in. There we go. Wow, look at the color of that. Absolutely beautiful, a nice little peachy color. Very soft. So that's a beautiful pour. We do want to leave a little bit of room at the top there because this is where we're going to put a dash of soda into our cocktail. One little dash goes in like so and voila. There we have our Gone with the Gin. So let's put our garnish on before our taste test. Today, my garnish, I simply just put a little bit of a nori roll around a couple of sprigs of rosemary and I'm going to place them on the side there like that and I have this lovely little bit of lemon peel which I'm going to just put on like so. Hang it over the edge and voila, there we have it. Completely garnished up and gone with the gin. Favourite part for me, taste test. Let's give this a taste, I'm really excited. Let's go. Oh my, oh wow. <laughs> oh, that is really beautiful. Those flavors, I know I went, oh wow, because at the end there, you get this lovely little kick of jalapeno. But first up, you get these delicate, delicate flavors of the peach, and there's a little bit of that rosemary comes through. So there's this complete gamut of flavors as you actually sip it. I really, really enjoy it. And if you love a little bit more of a kick, then you just add a little bit more jalapeno. But honestly, this is perfect for my taste palette. Mm. Oh wow, that is surprisingly beautifully delicious. Mm. I really do enjoy this cocktail. If you've enjoyed the Gone With The Gin cocktail, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and you're welcome to press that subscribe button. A big hello goes out to Marilyn, our new YouTube subscriber. Thank you so much for watching, Marilyn. That's it from me. I am Helen, the cocktail queen of Mount Tambourine. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to sharing another cocktail with you in a few weeks' time. Cheers. Mm. Try this one. It really is beautifully delicious. Thank you. and using oh fuck <laughs> rambling if you've enjoyed today's show oh fudge duck oh packs a punch with that double gin <laughs> mm. that kick at the end is ripper <laughs>